little update. I have uh, changed the ratio on the um, belt system. So this pulley now is only 20 teeth, whereas before it was 25. So quite a bit uh, difference in diameter. Um, these had sprag bearings inside, so um, you've got an overrun. Whereas I couldn't fit those bearings inside that one, so for now there's no overrun. Not sure how important that's going to be, but we'll see. So I did I did a little test. Um, I'll show you that video now. Um, as you can see, the um, the lift is nearly there. That's with six degrees of pitch on the blades. So I'm about max travel now on on the pitch. I can't get much more. And also the engine won't do any more. I don't think. I think it's on its maximum, and I think it's lifting 90 to 95 percent of the weight, including myself now. So that's where I am. The exhaust is the next thing to change. I don't, I'm not happy with this exhaust at all. It's just a, it's just a, a cheapie that I put on. Um, I'm going through the design calculations now to change it and get more power from the engine. I think that will make the difference um, between lifting off and not. So that will be next. <coughs> um, the control tilting I did a video of that and I'm reasonably happy with how it went. Um, there's quite a lot of force needs to be exerted on the stick left and right so I want to make that a lot easier. Um, that's partly probably because of the the ratio I've got between these bars. I can change how easy it is to move the stick left to right. You get m less movement on, on the rotor head, but I think that'll probably be better. I also want to drop this shaft down. It's, it's about 650 mil between each rotor. So I believe that should be 10% on a 4.3 meter rotor. That should be 430 mil. So I'm going to drop that down and I think that will improve the situation there. Um, so that's, that's the next thing to do and uh, I'll keep you updated. Cheers!